Hey, Ethan. This is Keaton Everett with ABC going over your pitching video from camp. We're going to go through and talk a little bit about uh, your mechanics and kind of get you to a point where you're kind of limiting your motions. You're getting a little bit more under control with your body. Uh, you're, you're using a little bit more legs. And um, and then we're, we'll kind of go through that and break it down. You know, what are you doing over the rubber? Are you getting consistent? Are you breaking your hands before your body's getting going? Are you loaded up over that backside? You know, we're going to look for that timing um, because over, you know, where we start over the rubber dictates how we're going to finish, all right? Then we're going to look at, you know, what are, what's your lower half doing to foot strike? You know, foot strikes right when that, that left foot first touches the ground, you know, what are we looking like at that position, all right? Are we in a position that's healthy? Are, you know, are our arms in a, in a nice position to kind of limit the strain? You know, are we getting some torque from our lower half? You know, the, the basically the fact that your hips are turning before your shoulders. And then we're going to look at, you know, how you're finishing. So the biggest thing for you looking through this is just controlling your motion, controlling your body. You know, you can see you, you have a really big postural change. And as you release and through finish, you're almost running towards home plate. All right, so basically you're just not in control of yourself. So there's a few things that you can do to, that's going to help you out, and, um, and I'll show you and, and kind of go through them as we go through your motion. But we're going to start um, with over the rubber, how you're starting, and then we'll kind of go from there and break it down. So first off, you know, we want to limit our upper body movements. We want to, you know, we don't want to drop. We don't want to change our posture. All right. So come and set right off the bat. All right. Th this is always kind of a gray area for me. You know, this, this, the whole setup issue. Um, usually, I like to see guys with a little bit more around the shoulder width distance. All right. When your legs really far back, all that's causing or really far forward is all you're causing is a bend in your knee, so you're a little bit shorter than you normally would. All right, and all this causes, as you can see through your lift, is you can't load up on your backside with that leg so far out. So you're seeing your body and your weight shift back here. All right, I want you to get to this position with your head over that back foot, all right, first, and then wherever this foot is comfortable, then go to it. You know, if you want to have your foot there, fine. If you want to have your foot there, fine. But I just want you to shift your weight back. All right, so you're here. I just want you to have everything already shifted back over this back foot. All right. So you probably take, you know, your your head from from here, and it's going to be back, you know, back over here somewhere. All right. So just shift that weight back. Now you're you're not wasting this movement here. So now you're back here. Okay, everything's good in this position. You're staying over that back leg. Okay, now what I'd like to see you do is limit your postural changes. All right, so if we're looking from home plate, all right, and we lock in, we're looking at this upper body. We don't want any movement there. You're going to see you're, you're tilting back. As that knee comes up, you tilt your head back, all right, and then you're going to see it drop down. Then you're going to see yourself drop really far down and come forward over that that um, over that belly button. So you're going back, forward, up and down. All right. We just want to see yourself maintain your posture at this position. This is good. Head over that belly button. All right. And we want to see your head right here. Follow a straight line down. All right. We don't want you to dip up too far on that box. You know, you, you can get a little bit of dip. But you're getting really far down, you know, almost clear in that box before you're going forward. All right, we just want to see that head stay up, and you're just staying more through your through your legs. You know, crouching down this position, you don't get your power here. You get your power through your hips, keeping them closed and driving them down the hill first. All right. So right here, to get the timing of delivery, we want to see the hands break and the leg go down at the same time as your hips go forward. So we want to see hips go forward. We want the hips to lead down the hill. We want to see this leg start to drop and this ball come out of the glove. All right. So you can see here, your leg comes down first. Your hips haven't moved yet. All right. We'll go back and mark it. All right. Your hips haven't come forward until about 
right in this position. All right, you see your hips just lagging back there. All right, your your legs dropping down, and now it's coming into the exact same line as this as this foot. All right, we don't want to see that. At this position, we still want to see this leg down over this front foot because that's keeping our hips closed. So at this position, your hips are starting to open up early. You can see your posture will change. Your head's over, your head's way over that. You know, it's over the dirt. All right, we want to try to see in this position, hips lead down the hill. All right, just have this foot stay here and just kind of swing out around and, and out. And so here, and then and then you also want to have your, your hands start breaking. So your hands want to start breaking as everything's happening. So hands break here, all right, you're getting down the hill. And then in this position, you know, you're going to be farther out, all right? So you're going to start seeing this, this yourself. You're probably going to be, we'll go back a little bit. You know, you're going to see it at this position, all right? Again, posture, you want to have a little bit straighter back. But your leg's going to be still lagging behind. We want the hips to lead ourselves down the mountain, all right? We don't want our foot to lead down here. So we still want to keep that that hip leading down the mountain, all right? We want to keep that hip leading down the mountain. And now in this position, now it's probably somewhere about right here. It's still closed. You're still gain, you know, loaded up on that all that power. And then you're going to be able to, to get a little bit more through those hips, okay? One of the things that, that you're also doing is because your hands broke late, remember we... we we pointed out how your hands are breaking, you know, right about here. Is you're going to see your arm lag and be behind your body. All right, so through to foot strike, which is right here. All right, you can see how we have a really extreme angle right here. All right, that loads up that that uh, elbow with a lot of strain. All right, and you can just see how your arm just never gets up on top of the ball. Your hand never gets up on top of the ball. It's just lagging, staying down, staying down. Now this elbow is kind of raising up above that shoulder. All right, that hand's still on top of the ball, and then it's rotating at the last minute right here. Okay, so this is not a powerful position. It puts strain on your arm. All right, this is something where we got to get this ball and let it keep going up. All right, we want to try to get this ball on a path up above. So instead of lifting your elbow up, which strains that shoulder, you know, we're going to see your elbow about shoulder height right here, but you're going to start seeing that, that hand rotate up on top of that ball. All right, so then, you know, you don't curl your arm through. All right, this is just not a strong position. It's straining your arm real a lot. All right, so that's just something you need, you need to work on. It. And all that that will help is breaking your hands earlier and just work on driving that ball up and getting it up over that elbow and that shoulder, all right? But you want to keep this good elbow-shoulder relationship, all right? That's good, okay? So through release, you know, your front side's doing pretty good. All right, that glove's down over here. You're starting to rotate that back hip. It's just a matter of, of uh, you know, this back here. That's, that's a big big red, red flag for them. so that's just something you need to work on. All right, and then you'll see through release, you know, you're getting you're getting pretty good extension. You have re pretty good release. Your head's down over that front foot, which I don't see a lot in, in young guys, and that back leg's uh, staying on the ground. So everything's looking good through release. Now it's just a matter of, of using those legs a little bit more, using those hips, um, and, and to, to get that going, all right? And, and basically, the reason that you're you're kind of running through this delivery is just the fact that you're not being strong through this left leg. So just try to strengthen up that left leg and stick stick that finish. All right, we don't we just don't want to see this. All right, that's not a very good um, way to finish. You know, you don't see a whole lot of guys running towards the catcher. All right, so just something to to kind of work on is just stick that that finish a little bit more. All right, so just a matter of of more hips down the mound, breaking your hands earlier, getting that ball going up above that that elbow and shoulder, so you're you're getting in a in a lot better position, um, and then just maintain your posture. So hopefully uh, you had a great time at camp. You're having an awesome season this year, and uh, we look forward to seeing you with ABC.